सो हाय एवरीवन माय न्यू बुक लैंच इन योर पॉकेट बिगनर्स गाइड टू बिल्डिंग जेन ए एप्लीकेशन यूजिंग एल एम्स इज आउट नॉन एमेजॉन द बुक इज ऑलरेडी बेस्ट सेलर एज यू कैन सी इट इज ट्रेंडिंग ऑन हैश थ्री ऑन एमेजॉन बेस्ट सेलर्स सो गो ग्रैब योर कॉपीज एंड फाइंड द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन बिलो सो हाई एवरी वन टूडे विल बी डिस्कसिंग आउट सर्टन फ्रिक्वेंटली आस्ट क्वेश्चन दट आर एफ यूज अराउंड द रैग फ्रेमवर्क सो इफ यू डोंट नो रैग फ्रेमवर्क हेल्प यू टू कनेक्ट एक्सटर्नल कॉन्टेक्ट लाइक टेक्सट फाइल्स और पी डी एफ फाइल्स और यूट्यूब वीडियोज टू योर एल एल एम सो दैट द एल एम इज एबल टू आंसर क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन द कॉन्टेक्सट गिव राइट द प्राइवेट डेटा सो इट हेल्प यू टू अवॉइड फाइन ट्यूनिंग इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो मोर अबाउट रैग हाउ इट वर्क यू कैन वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियोज in this particular tutorial we will be talking about certain doubts that people have around rag starting off with can we build a rag system using postgres and rdbms uh, a big no because rdbms and postgres doesn't support text similarity so if you have watched my previous video and if you already know how rag works it the important component is vector db which is able to store embeddings for the text alongside the text itself and hence it supports text similarity right so if you uh, give it a query and ask it to search for similar sentences not the exact same sentences you would be able to get it but this is not the case is rdbms eventually if you uh, know about rag vector db plays a bigger role as compared to llm because the llm is just restructuring the input and the output uh, it is restructuring the prompt that the user is giving and then hitting the vector db and again restructuring the output that the vector db is giving to make it more presentable that's it so it's more of a vector db uh, based solution rather than llm driven solution try to understand this hence postgres and rdbms won't be an ideal situation uh, to use rag for you so uh, on my channel you can check out this vector database basic tutorial also where i have uh, where i have shown how a vector database work and how it helps you to generate uh, outputs of similar text so uh, llm is just rephrasing everything nothing else can we have a qna over multiple documents rather than just one simultaneously so most of the tutorials that i have seen on the internet deals with just one document just one video just one pdf but can multiple documents uh, be done yes a big big yes so i have already released a tutorial on that also in my channel you can check that out how you can attach multiple documents to the same llm agent and ask questions from different uh dip- from different documents like for example one document can be around football other can be around cricket and eventually you can ask questions from the llm based on both so this is called as multi document rag or double rag i have heard do we need to create embeddings for documents every time we want to use rag no so basically uh, again coming back to vector db it is also a database similar to rdbms and postgres whatever you have used and there also you have the facility to save your data that you are entering and then render it depending upon your need similarly a vector db also support the same thing you can persist whatever embeddings you have created save them one at one place and eventually use it whenever you want to use it so in case of rag you if you have a big data set like for example you are working on a real world problem in that case you can generate the embedding just once and eventually you can use the retriever part of rag every time you wish to use that particular document i have already shared a uh, tutorial on that also rag using existing vector databases in the channel you can check that out how you can save a vector db and then load that same vector db and then perform rag using it can i build an application over rag say ner text tagging or summarization i haven't used it i haven't done it till now but i assume yes because lcl uh, uh, if you can check that out how lcl works in my channel itself lcl is be has made things very very easy to make custom chains so what you need to do once you build your rag chain for example you are using retrieval qa chain you just need to add on your extra application that you want to like for example the ner chain so you can chain uh, you can have multiple custom chains together working using lcl so i haven't used it but yes it can be done can my private data leak when using rag if you are using a local llm no if you are using a uh, api based llm yes because eventually try to understand the role of llm is just is just to restructure everything right so once you get an output from the vector db that data is also getting sent to through the api right for example if you are using vertex api or even open ai api uh, in rag eventually internally the output from the vector db is going to the api call itself right it is getting attached so your data is getting leaked so 
it uh, it would be an issue with the private data if you don't want to leak your private data you should not be using apis that's for sure how fine tuning different from rack uh, in many ways i've already released a short video on that ki how when you should be using rack and when when you should be using fine tuning so basically fine tuning is more a cumbersome task it consumes more resources it consumes more time but the results are better as compared to rack but what i would suggest is that if the task is not very specific i think rack can be a go to solution because i have worked with a rack for multiple applications and the results are fine so if you are happy to take a little bit of a hit on your accuracy uh, and just want to have a working solution i think rack can be a go to method but if numbers are very very important the metrics i think fine tuning should be something that you should be going and one more thing is that for fine tuning you need to have your model in your local system but in case of rag even apis can be used so do remember all these things and you can watch this video for more information so this is the frequently asked question that i have been receiving if i receive any other queries i will be addressing that soon